Hi everyone, it's Lisa here and I'm coming to you today with another video for the Click Kits. Uh, I was the guest, one of the guest designers for July. So um, I have another video to share with you of a layout that I made using all of the items from the Carpe Diem kit. And it's all the pattern paper from, um, or most of the collection I should say, from the Chicken Itty 365 collection. So I'm just going through some of the stash that I have and um, I love that wood grain paper so I'm going to pull that out for sure and I'm going to use that as my background. And then there was this music note paper that I wanted to use as well. Now uh, to me I feel like sometimes like music paper could be kind of like girly-ish. So I wanted to kind of show you that you can use like music note paper for boys. And it, this layout turned out awesome. I love how it turned out. Um, so you can see I'm just cutting pieces from the cut apart sheet that are in the kit. So I have this one that has today and I'm just gonna put that right over this kind of like weird spot in the photo. And then that's just gonna kind of bring your eye in towards the picture of my son. Like he's holding this little kitty and it's just going to draw your eye in towards him. So um, it's just going to help get rid of some of the yucky spots in the photo. So, and then I also used, there was like a strip on the same cut, I think it was the same cut apart sheet that has the days of the week and it's all these multicolors. So I cut that and I'm going to use that strip and I'm going to um, do my journaling on the bottom part of the page and um, that's just gonna, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, well, when I use it, I want to make sure that I use that part, uh, for my journaling. So as I'm making a layout, I kind of have ideas on where I want to put stuff. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but, um, when I was making this one, I was kind of conscious of what I wanted to do. So I'm just adding some more layering underneath that photo with that blue and white polka dot stripe. And then you can also see I use the uh, ruler strip paper as well. And that's just going to give you a lot of, a little bit more layering behind that photo. And then you can kind of see that just kind of, I don't know, it almost like it tones down that music note paper. And I had these cute little crochet bows uh, that came from, it was an add-on uh, that was in the Click Kit store. I don't even know if it's an add-on for this particular collection, but I saw them and I was like, I love those. So I wanted to use that on here as well. And yeah, bows could be kind of girly-ish, but I just wanted to kind of make it youthful and fun uh, because my son is like five in this picture and he is now 16. So um, I'm, one of my challenges for the next little while is to go through some older pictures as well as new pictures and try and get those older pictures documented as well. Um, I just feel like sometimes we focus so much on the newness of new pictures and new paper that we forget about the older stories that we have to tell. So I'm just um, using the alphas. These are the add-on alphas. Uh, that you can get as well and they're by I believe you say Kessie art I think that's how you say it so I'm using the yellow and the blue ones and I'm going to spell out can I keep him and that's just like what my son was saying in the photo because he had gone to a um, petting zoo and we ha didn't have any animals at that time, but he just so wanted this little kitty. Did he bring him home? No. But <laughs> it wasn't the point. The point is, like, he was so, you know, he just loved playing with animals, and he still does, so. So I'm just taking that flare, and I think it says Everyday Happiness, I believe. Um, and I'm taking um, my little bottle. It's a fine liner bottle. And what ha it has in it is actually uh, matte medium in it. And um, matte medium is great for those people who are messy gluers like myself. Uh, Glossy Accents is a great adhesive, but if you're a messy gluer, you can see the shininess of the glue when it dries. So if I use the matte medium, it takes a little longer to dry 
but I don't have any of that um, shininess when the glue dries. It's just like invisible. So I use that one a ton. So I have it in just a little fine liner. I buy it in big like bottles that I use for my art journaling and I'll just refill the bottle and I find it's way way cheaper so um, cheaper is always better <laughs> so I have these puppy stickers and I'm just kind of um, scattering them at first around the page but then I like the fact of just clustering them in this one little square and that just kind of I don't know it just did something to the layout that made it look really um, cool so, and then I, you can see I have that arrow um, that I cut out from, um, it was a little 4x4 four four and they're like gold uh, arrows and I cut, I think they're gold or they're silver, it just depends on how you like hit the light on them. And um, I glued that down as well, I just wanted to kind of draw your eye back into the photo. Um, Everything was really heavy on the right hand side of the photo so I wanted to kind of have something on the left side of the photo that's going to draw your eye into it. So um, I needed something else to kind of go with it so I was uh, looking in my stash and I found um, these little chipboard frames and this one is from Freckle Fawn and it's one of the kits that I got a long time ago. Uh, so I'm going to use that and then I'm going to add puppy, um, not puppy, uh, pop dots in the middle of that and I'm going to pop that arrow up there so that way um, it didn't, it had some place to sit on there. And then these are some Amy Tan, oh my goodness, I think they are from the, not the Rise and Shine, maybe the Yes Please or something like that stickers. And I um, think I try using it on uh, the layout, and I can't remember if it stay on stays on there or not. So um, I do that. I also add this other sticker right onto the arrow, and then I think I find an old um, Amy Tan, dear not Amy Tan, dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic chipboard piece. I'm gonna add that on as well, and that's just gonna kind of again bridge that little gap that was there um, you know so usually that's what I do is I kind of get started and then I'll just kind of build up with the layers just to fill in the holes and it's always worked for me <laughs> sometimes it doesn't work out but um, this time it did so and then I'm just going to use those blocks again for putting my journaling in and that is going to finish off this layout. Again, don't forget to check out the link below for the Click Kits blog. And you can check out their store as well. And uh, the close-ups of this layout are posted at the end of this video. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.